Glory be to God. Welcome to D-Weaver Art here on YouTube. I give glory and praise to God that you choose to watch the channel. Today I'd like to share with you a video that was done in plein air before the year changed back in 2022. Now if you're new to the D-Weaver Art channel, I urge you to subscribe. But also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. By doing so, you'll receive instant alerts on new content and material. Now with that being said, please watch and enjoy this video. Get a little bit of uh, white here and don't need a lot of blue because the blue is pretty powerful and just a little bit of that yellow ochre and mix my sky in a lot of white though and this is going to be a little bit of that brown I didn't clean my brush off really good but just put put some uh, brush marks in there and that's pretty much it and got to be pretty just kind of within that range of the sky because when you look in an atmospheric pr perspective the lower part of the sky near the horizon is going to be lighter blue than the top so i want to add that in and as i go kind of toward the middle of the of the sky i add a little bit more blue to it it gets a little bit darker Phyllis, Phyllis, good to see you here on the show's artist good public place. Now I got, I don't have a big, I don't have a big brush, but I'm just putting, putting a flat, I'm using a flat brush here. And um, the colors will actually, they will automatically start to mix. And just add a little bit of white to that. I'm just going to be a loose, loose painting, uh, impressionistic type painting. Just get my... Um, colors down and go I really thought I wasn't going to be able to do this this is like I normally do is always at the spur of the moment when I do these paintings and stuff uh, when I go plein air painting so uh, getting a little bit of this here uh, white and get the top top part of the sky and these all colors are all intermixed eventually just put it down ain't gotta overwork it just put the stroke down and move on you get that illusion of distance so I'm gonna kind of cool this off a little bit by putting a little bit of blue into it that it kind of and then another thing is you have to pay attention to the edges. The edges, the edge work, edge work with the sky is going to kind of soften it, soften that edge work so it's a little bit more white and kind of, kind of soften that, soften that up. So what I did to soften that up, I put a little bit of paint on my, on my brush and that made it, softened it up to produce some type of, um, soft edge that soft edge you get pal and put a little bit hence of just breaking it up that's all i'm doing breaking it up there breaking it up breaking it up now come in there kind of darkening it up and then i'm gonna lighten it back up just a little bit It's pretty much warm. I'm gonna go get some yellow, yellow, um, cadmium yellow, and add to the mix. Just 
Now I need to wash my brush out. Still working with the same brush. All right. So next, I'm gonna get a little bit darker in the shadows. The shadows are cool with a little bit of uh, uh, burnt sienna. So the cool it, put a little bit of blue in it and a little bit of white. It's kind of gonna gray it up a little bit. Anytime you mix uh, blue and that brown, it's, it, it slightly grays it a little bit, just slightly. And I'm just gonna block, block some areas up in here. Going horizontal with my brush strokes. This is for the shadow zone. Get in that area where my holder uh, is on my for shot box. Get that in. Now I'll come back with a little bit of yellow ochre over that. Slightly warm it. To that pile. And kind of mix it there. Let me get the now the fence is going some vertical strokes there. Put in that. It's a sunlit area. I'm not gonna mess with that yet. You want to get when you doing these plein air paintings, you want to come in with them darts, get your darts in pretty much. Then you can come over with the lighter, lighter uh, light stuff. progress a little bit more I need to warm I need to lighten that area up so I'm gonna add a little bit of white it's gonna be cool though up here so let's uh get that right here let's darken that up this part gonna be a lot more darker so i'm gonna have to add a bit of blue and brown that brown and referring to is uh let's see what hard to think and paint at the same time because the part of my brain is acting that it's more the creator side, so I may maybe miss miss saying some things. Kind of want to leave. These are where the wood, the different planks in the in the uh, in the fence is kind of showing. So that yeah, yeah, that's looking good there. And I'm gonna use that same pile. Come up in here. Go sideways with the brush, and then over 
here where the door is at do the same thing. This, you doing these paintings, it's okay to show some of the underpainting, tell fine detail. So there's some line, shadow lines that they need to be a little bit smaller and thinner. And it's mango over here. There's a little bit of shadow there. And then uh, on the back side, on the plane going back this way, it's a little bit of shadow. get that dark oh, gotta get another shadow area sometimes when you're doing plein air painting you got to kind of slow it down you can get too fast you can miss out on some things so I almost missed out on this little area here that's got in shadow a little thin area I need to get it too free handing it with my hand I don't know. Yeah, up here is a little bit of shadow there too. Okay, it won't be black, but illusion of black. Kind of feel dark. too much yellow in it, but I may have just come over with a lot more white. White tin can be chalky. Just come over here with the sideways like this one. Sideways with the brush. Do a little contour. Now this part of the door is going is going horizontal, so my brush strokes are horizontal. Same thing with this here. Going here, just one like a brush stroke. Same on the sides. Now the sun has gotten over past my my uh, my umbrella. I have a plein air painting umbrella. That keeps me in the shade. Because whenever you paint in plein air, you don't want to have that sun just all on your work. Because it can distort your colors. And when you bring it back inside, they'll be too dark. What I'm doing is kind of putting a warm under under painting into it, kind of a little thick. Then when I come over with that white, it'll start to mix a little bit, really good. Kind of read a lot more interesting to the eye. sunlit areas on the fence actually it looks brighter than that so what I'm going to do to match that value it's a little bright come back in over the whole thing just a little bit more
snow. Kind of losing a little bit of those shadowed areas. And there you have it. I gotta put that tree in. <laughs> Got the tree. So, ain't no big deal. So what we do is I uh, put a little bit of white in here. Come in with some actual pure unmixed uh, Push it further. And da da, we're done. <laughs> like what you just saw? Then hit the like button. Also, share it with others. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the letter D Weaver Art. Thank you for watching. God bless you. See you next time.